Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can import AWS resources into Terraform. So a lot of cloud um, or businesses that are in the cloud or users who have moved into the cloud, been there for a couple of years, are starting to transition to using infrastructure as code, such as Terraform, CloudFormation, and just make, uh, basically to just get your environments more easily replicable to be moved across different regions and easier to update, things like that. So um, as you start to build out your environments, you're gonna wanna start to maybe move some of this previous manual process back into Terraform. I'm just gonna show you a quick and easy way to how to migrate your um, VPC and maybe like a subnet into Terraform code without messing anything up. So what I'm gonna do is I have my folder here and I'm using Visual Studio Code and I'm just gonna create a folder called Terraform AWS Import and you can create that, um, name it whatever you want. So inside my uh, AWS environment, I have my VPC here and I also have a subnet inside of there. Now, of course, you may have other things, inter um, NAT gateways, Elastic IPs, VMs and stuff like this. So what we're gonna do is then go ahead and import each of these individually and then make sure that nothing would be changed if we were to run a Terraform plan. So I'm gonna to go to Terraform's website and in there we're gonna to go to their registry and then under providers, we're gonna to go to AWS. And when you're first starting out, you may do this locally, you may put it in Terraform Cloud, but we're gonna go ahead and start with um, configuring this locally on our um, uh, PC here. So you may need to get Terraform installed, things like that, uh, get some IAM keys, but I'll leave that for a different video. You can go check out some of my other videos on how to install Terraform, things like that. So under the documentation, I'm gonna take this initial block here, and I'm just gonna copy it. So basically, require providers is gonna be AWS, the source, and the version is uh, anything here. We got 4.0. So anything greater than, or we'll just do, so the latest is 4.33.0. That's what I'll do on mine here. So I'll create a new file called main.tf. And then I'm just gonna do equals, we're gonna go 4.33. 33.0. Now my region is actually US East 2. So up here at the top, US East 2 that we're in. So let's go ahead and change that and save it. So initially to be, uh, just to get like the, um, the provider and the modules and stuff downloaded, we're gonna run a Terraform init just to get all the backend initialized and the provider plugin is downloaded. So once that finishes there, we got our Terraform exe file there, our lock file. And now let's go ahead and start trying to import our resources. So the first thing we want to import is our VPC. So in order to import a resource, you need to have a resource block available for that um, resource that you're trying to um, import inside your code already. So I'm going to go to the documentation here and inside of here you can just search what you're looking for so you can put in VPC and we want to look for let's just do AWS VPC and you want to look for under resources so the resource for to build a VPC environment in Terraform is AWS underscore VPC then we're just going to go ahead and take this basic usage here and I'm going to do a copy and I'm going to go in and I'm going to paste this in here so now this solder block so what we need to do make sure is that we have everything that's required so the only thing that's required let's see here to build a VPC we can search require doesn't look like we have anything required, but it looks like the solder block we'll go ahead and add since that's a part of what's here. So 10.0.0 slash 16. 
and then I'm going to save that and then we're going to do an import. So to figure out how to import that so that the code state file matches what you have in your actual AWS environment, go into the right here and you should see an import section and it tells you how to import this. So you'll run a Terraform import, then we'll need the resource group and then the resource name and then we'll need the actual VPC ID. So this comes from your actual code. So this one has AWS VPC.test. Ours is going to be AWS VPC.main. So I'm going to do a Terraform import AWS underscore VPC.main. And then now I need the, ter the uh, VPC ID, which you can copy from here. Go back into your, your uh, terminal, paste that in there, and then press enter. Now it imports this into your state file, but sometimes your state file still may not match up with what's inside your environment. So to understand what's going to um, change if you were to run a Terraform ap uh, apply, you can run a Terraform plan and see what's not matching up. So in here we see that everything else is good, but it looks like that there's some tags that that's uh, going to be cha um, basically changed. So if we want to keep those tags in there, we're going to go into our resource block. We're going to do a tags equals. We're going to go, and this is just a key value pair. So name equals my lab VPC and then tags all name is my lab VPC I'm gonna go ahead and save that and then we'll run a terraform plan again and we should get a no changes so when you see no changes, your infrastructure matches. That means now your infrastructure um, state file matches exactly what um, your configuration has and what's in the cloud. So now we can move down and um, move into our subnet. So now we want to bring our subnet into code. And we see here we got one subnet that's created, CIDR address. So let's go ahead and go back to our Terraform documentation and let's look for AWS subnet so here we see we got that and then under required we see the only thing that's required if there is any is the VPC ID so this is to understand what VPC this is actually associated with so we're going to go ahead and paste that in there and then the vpc id we're actually pulling this from our current configuration so the vpc id is the aws underscore vpc dot main dot id because we need the id of it the cider block is going to be 10 0 0 0 0 slash 24 which you can grab from your dashboard as well so now that we got that set up it's going to save that and let's go ahead and do another import which for the subnet you can grab it from the same location it's just going to have a little bit of a different syntax so it's going to be the same syntax here but just different resource group name and then obviously the subnet id which it does indicate here what you need so let's go terraform import and it's going to be aws underscore subnet dot main and then the subnet ID and grab that and then paste that in there so now that's there now let's check and make sure that there's nothing that needs to be changed or updated so we'll do a terraform plan again and it looks like we're probably going to need to update this tag here so as you can see, we need to change my subnet. So, so you can see where it's going to be changed. So my lab subnet is going to be changed to main if we were to run a Terraform apply. So let's go ahead and change this to my lab subnet. And then we can do the tags all as well. Name my lab 
submit. Go ahead and save that and let's run a, another plan. So no changes to your infrastructure. Your infrastructure matches the configuration. So now we got our state file updated. We got all of our information pulled down into here. You can even do a Terraform show. And it'll show your state file um, outputted as well. So, and, and that's it. To, uh, you know, a basic, simple um, way to kind of import in some AWS resources. Again, using and utilizing the Terraform documentation will give you everything you need to understand how to pull those in. Make sure to always do the Terraform plan. That way later on, you're not actually accidentally destroying anything that shouldn't be destroyed. And again, if you have any other questions in regards to other resources, drop a comment down below. Um, like and you know, subscribe to the channel. I always have some new Terraform networking and automation videos um, coming up weekly. Again, check out my blog, letmetechyou.com, which is down there in the description below. And again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.